This past week, Quantum League had their open beta, and I was able to get in and put a few hours into the game, and well, it's weird. It's self-described by the developer's nimble giant as a time paradox shooter, and if you're wondering what that even means, I'm just going to jump into the game and show you, because I think this game makes a lot more sense watching it in action rather than having it described to you. So let's jump right in. All right, so this is Quantum League. Before we jump into the gameplay, like I mentioned, let's just take a quick peek at the menu just to kind of see what we're working with. It's pretty basic. You got your play, which has your singles and your doubles. You got a training mode if you want to go into that. You can look at your ranking, which currently I'm in the great bronze one rank. And then you just have like a profile where you can look at different stats and whatnot along with your elo, which is kind of nifty because a lot of games kind of obfuscate that these days. And then your options menu, which isn't anything special. The game for me runs really well, so I don't think you'll have too many problems running this game unless you have an absolute toaster. Once you go to play the game, you have your choice between these six characters. They all play exactly the same, so it's just an aesthetic choice. And each character has a ton of skins, which currently you can buy with this currency up here that you earn just by playing games. I assume when this game actually comes out or rolls into early access, you'll be able to buy those points, the little refresh points or whatever they'd be called, I don't know. I don't think the legendary skins look super cool in this game, but, but it is an indie game, so I'm not going to hammer on it too, too much. With that said, let's just jump into a singles game. We'll play one of those and then we'll jump into a doubles game. The goal of both singles and doubles is exactly the same. It's just obviously singles you're by yourself and then doubles you have a teammate. So the doubles does get a little more hectic. So we'll kind of talk about that as we go. So the goal here is to get your character at the end of the round to be alive and standing in that point in the middle. And so you can spawn here with a variety of different weapons. And basically, in the first round, you just run up and it's just a regular FPS game. Oh, I hit him. But see, we got to get into the circle here because at the end of three rounds, whoever is in the circle gets a point. And if no one's in the circle, then it extends the match. So now what I like to do is the first round, I like to use the rifle. And then in the other rounds, I'll swap it up to a more close range weapon and I'll push a little bit. There we go. And so now you'll see I killed the guy with a two above it. The two means it's the active player from this round, which is round two. His first player from the first round is still over there and you can kind of see him there at the edge. So basically that's the whole premise of the game. Each, each little match or each little section where you play for a point has three little rounds and in each round you play one character, but your character from the previous round still is there and does whatever you did in those previous rounds. So if you got a bunch of kills in the previous round or you just died right away, that character will still do the same thing. So the big unique thing to this game is that you can influence those previous players by killing them or doing things that would obviously change what happened in those quote unquote previous rounds, even though it all happens in real time as you go. So the game can get pretty hectic as you're fighting not only the current player, but also their previous round lives but like i said those previous round ones are just they do exactly what you did in those previous rounds so unless you like get in their way or something they don't shoot you but if you need to stop them from getting to the middle point you do have to worry about that along with fighting the active player the premise behind this game i i think is pretty cool but i i can't really say that i think it plays that great like it's a cool premise in theory but it ends up to me just being kind of hectic Oh no, oh no. Oh, we got him. So, see how we have people on the point now? This will be the last round. So we'll get the point here and then it just goes to three. First to three wins. So my main issue with this game really is the gunplay. So to me, this game really gives off like an arena FPS type vibe, like a Quake or a Halo or something like that. But instead you almost get like CSGO shooting mechanics where like, I can't jump and shoot, you lose accuracy if you're moving and shooting, and to me that it's almost counterproductive to the whole point of this game in my opinion. I should be able to make cool plays by jumping up with a sniper and hitting a shot, or if I want to slide and run and like dome someone with the SMG, I feel like I should be able to do that, but you're punished for jumping and moving a ton in this. Oh, he's so low. There we go. So now we'll get in the circle, and then as long as we can, oh I died. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. 
I totally forgot about that. So those health orbs, not only can you pick those up to obviously get health, you can also pick those up after you get desynced or die in a round, and then you come back to life right at the health pot. And I totally forgot about that. Okay, so now we'll watch out and make sure he doesn't... That's me. There is friendly fire. You have to make sure you don't kill your previous use or your previous use don't kill you. So like I was saying, this game can get really, really hectic as you have two clones of you and especially if you're playing in doubles where your teammate also has two clones and there's just gunfire going everywhere and I've killed myself more times than I'd like to admit. So far my, my favorite three weapons to use are the sniper when I'm trying to stick back and kind of hit that snipe obviously and then the SMG and the shotgun are, are pretty good for pushing. So let's see if he grabs that orb over there. He did respawn somewhere unless I shot myself. I wish it was more clear if you were getting hit by friendly fire or if it was the enemy and maybe I'm just missing that. So here we go, as long as we can keep our guys on that circle in the middle, we'll end up winning this one. So he's kind of sticking back, so as long as he doesn't kill off both the people on the circle, it should be fine. You can see your previous use health over in the corner down there, so you can tell if you died without having to look at him. And so we ended up winning, we beat that guy 3-0, which wasn't too bad. So let's jump into a 2v2 game, because while the basic premise of the game is the same, it gets a lot more hectic and probably a lot more tactical when you have that teammate. Although obviously I'm not going to be talking to this teammate, so it won't be super tactical. You kind of have to guess what you think your teammate's going to do. But as you can see, at the end of the game, if you win, you rank up and it has a rank system and all that good stuff. Alright, so here's the 2v2 mode, and I'll show you right off the bat here another one of the little things in this game that bother me. So to me, when you have a jump pad like this, I should just be able to run into it and it shoots me up, but you actually have to go onto it and hit space. And I know that's not a big deal, but it just feels weird to have to do that in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. Oh, come on, die. Let me shoot again. Ah, I hate how at the end of the round it slows down a ton. I know it would be weird if it didn't because the, the round would just end out of nowhere, but I always feel like I'm trying to get that last shot off and it just doesn't let me. But so this is the point round like I was mentioning, so we have to get that guy off the point in the middle here or they will get the point. That has to hurt. I shot my teammate a little bit there. Nice no! No! I'm reloading. All right, we got it. Oh, there's one of them on it too. So now what happens since we were both on the point or if no one's on the point, it extends the time. So it kind of goes into like an overtime type deal. Okay, so now I'll show you. So I got desynced. What I can do is I can hit this health orb and it'll respawn me. And now come back to life and attempt to make some plays. Oh, that guy's one shot. I've got him. Oh, I got to get on the circle. Oh no, we needed to kill that guy off, dang. Even when you're desynced, like it's been obvious, you get to keep playing. So you can keep shooting and stuff, so that if you save your clone in a future round, they'll keep shooting when they're alive. And that can make a big difference. To me, I just feel like the gun should be more accurate. I don't know. To me, like the gunplay from like Halo or just any arena shooter, I feel like would have worked a lot better in a game like this than the gun mechanics it. they went with. I just, I hate that I lose so much accuracy when I'm like moving or I'm jumping. I, I just, in a game like this, I just don't like the way that feels. Obviously if I'm playing Counter-Strike or something, then it, it makes total sense, but it's just, that's my main gripe honestly with this game is the gunplay. But the thing that stinks is that's such a big deal when it comes to a first person shooter. Like it, the gunplay is the thing that needs to be right. To even get to the other parts of the game that you may or not like and for me since I don't really like the gunplay I'm just having issues enjoying the game oh so we ended up being the only one there at the point at the end because that one guy died so we got the point there and so you'll kind of see that this happens more I feel like in the 2v2 mode but the rounds really can extend as you go into overtime because it'll just keep on going and going until someone can end with a person on the point on that third point round. Alright, let's see if we can get a snipe here at the start. I like to snipe at the start of a new fresh set of rounds. I feel like it works pretty decently for the most part as long as you can hit your shots, which, you know, it's always iffy for me. What a They're 
going for it. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I end the goddamn round two inches from the circle. It's very, very aggravating. Uh, we'll sh I'll show you guys the laser beam and the grenade launcher. I don't really like either of them, honestly. The laser just nice. doesn't seem that great. It kind of has like a lower range than I would think it would. But close range, it does a lot of damage if you can track well. I'll spawn with the grenade launcher this round. This thing, I don't like this at all. It's a good tool for, I want to say like area denial or you're playing you're playing some type of strategy where you don't want someone to end up at a certain part of the map, but I just can't hit shit with it. I'm also bad, so that could be a lot of it. They brought it back. Uh, oh, come on. It, did, did it even do damage to him? I don't know. I don't like the grenade launcher. I'm sure it has its purpose. I am just bad with it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. So like it's saying over there in the tip, you can save your clone by killing the person who killed your clone. Kind of like I've been mentioning. And so all the strategy comes down to do you want to go after the clones that killed your people in previous rounds or do you want to fight the active player as I'm kind of calling them and there's a lot of strategy in this game but at the same time I feel like there's so much going on it ends up kind of just hectic especially if you're playing like 2v2 here and you're not playing with someone you're talking to pull out the laser see what we can do with it nice headshot See, it does really good damage when you're close and you can track on them, but I just don't like the limited range that it has. Please, reload, reload. Oh my. The grenade launcher disappears if you get desynced when you're shooting it. I do not like that one bit. Alright, let's see if we can get onto the point here and just end this one. If you like slide and then jump, your guy kind of like flies forward, but other than that, I haven't found any cool movement tricks, but that could just be a I'm bad at movement type deal. Why can't I shoot? Oh shit, they're, they're on it. No, they're gonna get it. Damn. I feel like running the rifle on the first round of the loop works pretty well, as long as you feel that you can most of the time win the 1v1 fight. Because then, in the next round, they have to worry about that, along with... Oh my god, I missed so much. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it. Oh, see, I would have shot earlier if I hadn't just jumped. See, I don't like that at all. Ooh. Headshot him. Oh, I got them both! Alright. Last round, let's see if we can get on the circle. Roll the shotgun and push up. What a paradox. Oh my god, I killed him right as he respawned. They brought it back. No, gotta get on the circle. Oh, I got desynced. No, damn it. It's gonna Time extend extended. into overtime. Damn. Sometimes I feel like these games just kind of drag on. Ending the first round on the point is also a really good strat because now they have to worry about my person on the point while I can just kind of worry about killing them and defending my guy on the point. So there's there's just so many different ways you can approach this game and there is a lot of depth to it but like I'm sa like I was saying I just the core gunplay I'm just not a huge fan of and, and that detracts a lot from it for me. I also don't understand why the sniper doesn't actually have a scope. I don't know why it just zooms in like that. It's like the mechanic from a third person shooter, nice but this isn't a third person shooter, so Amazing it's kind of weird. Unkill. Oh, get on the circle. Aw, oh, damn. I don't know, it's just awkward how it just zooms in like that. I hope that's something that they could fix before the game rolls out. It's just very weird in a first person shooter with a gun that clearly has a scope on it to not use the scope. I don't know. Maybe that's just me that doesn't like that, but not a huge fan. They brought it back. Oh, we got him. Oh, and we got that guy. Nice. Alright, so we basically just need to try and defend my little clone there at the end, and we can finally win this game. We'll roll the laser beam. I feel like the laser beam is key to victory here. Oh, <laughs> 
that didn't go too well. And I ran over the health pack earlier, damn it. They brought it back no. No, they're killing me. Oh, we won? There we go, we did it. All right, guys, so that's Quantum League. By the time this video rolls out, the open beta will most likely be over. But they did put out a little statement earlier saying that early access is coming soon. So if the game looked intriguing to you, I would say go ahead and check it out. I'm not the biggest fan in the world, but once the game actually rolls out or it fully releases, I might come back to kind of check if they changed some of the things I didn't really like about it and see if I can get more into it. But as of right now, it, it's nothing amazing. It, it's a fun little game and it has a cool concept, but I just, I don't know if that core concept plays that well. Even with better gunplay, I'm, I'm just not sure about it. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, you guys know what to do. I'll toss my Twitch link and my other socials in the description. So if you want to catch me live, you can just click on that and catch me over there. And I'll see you guys next time.